Greetings to all my 10th grade children. I am here for the subject English. Today we are going to see with the story The Tempest for the supplementary unit 1. Hope you will enjoy the class. Today let's see the story The Tempest which is the famous work of Shakespeare. In our textbook they have given an extract from the Charles Lamb of Shakespeare's best work, one of the best work, The Tempest. Let's go through the characters. Who are the characters? The first main character is Prospero. He is the hero of the story. And this Prospero is a very old man. He is a magician. And he was once a Duke of Milan. So this is Prospero. He is a great magician. And Prospero has a daughter called Miranda. Daughter of Prospero. Next one is Ferdinand. And this daughter Miranda falls in love with Ferdinand. Later part of the story. So this Ferdinand, actually he was the prince of Naples. Then Ferdinand's father is king of Naples. He is a very uh, cruel man. So this character comes in the story. And king of Naples' friend is Antonio. And this Antonio is the brother of Prospero. The next one is Gonzalo. Gonzalo is a faithful servant of Prospero who helped him at his difficult times and he was also a kind lord of Prospero in his court when he was a duke. The next one is Ariel. Ariel is the head of the spirits and he is termed here as chief spirit. The next one is Caliban. Caliban is an ugly monster, is a very cruel person and this Caliban was the son of Sycorax. Sycorax was a witch who was fighting against Prospero. So let's go through the story. It's a very interesting story. You will really enjoy it. It's a comedy and it's very it's one of the best works of Shakespeare. In this story, Prospero stands at the seashore and he looks at a tempest. Tempest in the sense a violent windy storm. It's a kind of a cyclone and there was a ship which was having a difficult time in the over the sea. And near to the Prospero was his daughter Miranda and she was asking, looking at the sea and she was asking what is happening in the sea and if she is asking about the ship, what is happening to the ship also. And this Prospero started explaining and she asked him, asked her, asked him a question that if father it was under your control, this tempest is happening, please stop it. And her father promises her that he will never hurt anyone inside the ship but he will surely safeguard everyone without hurting them. As the first story continues, you can see the story about Ariel also. Ariel is the chief spirit, he is invisible and he was a very good ghost who helps Prospero in all the tasks. Prospero is a kind man. Once he released Ariel from the clutches of Sycorax, a witch who was really torturing all the spirits in that island. And this Ariel was really indeed happy to get that freedom. So he was really a very good faithful slave and a very good, a very good friend of Prospero. Actually he is a spirit, he is a ghost. And this Ariel was creating the tormenting, was tormenting the ship and creating the tempest, uh, tempest in the sea. And he was creating a great confusion among the sailors in the ship. Now this Ariel, when he does all these things, here on the seashore, the Prospero and the daughter have a great, uh, have a good conversation. A dialogue goes in between them where he says about his flashback before 12 years and he asked his daughter my dear little daughter do you remember when you came to this island which he termed it as a cell which he termed it as a jail so that he calls uh, he asked her but she said no i don't remember and he was saying he started a story like this he had a brother called antonio and this Prospero was greatly a great, in, uh, a great fan of mag magic. So he always tried to read magical books and he was always be spending his time at his study reading all the magic books. So using this time, what this Antonio is doing is he's, uh, he's taking away the dukedom 
and he chases away prospero from that place so prospero and his daughter who was 3 year old baby and she was taken and when they were setting us when they were uh, ch chasing from the uh, duke the antonio made gave a small little boat with all his books a small little amount of food and water just to survive them or either to die them in the make them to die in the sea so this prospero sets with his daughter to the sea but his guns his faithful friend gonzalo what he's doing is is giving additional supplies to him and that made him to reach in the island finally so this island so how like that only they came to this island and then this island no other human beings are there except a group of spirits and the chief spirit is ariel and ariel is playing in the sea uh, in the sea with the ship and what is happening is because of this tempest all the people in the sea were really afraid in the ship they were really afraid and the first one was ferdinand who jumped from the ship into the sea because of the fear the next one was other side king of naples is jumping antonio is jumping and each one started jumping from the ship because they start that they started thinking that the ship is going to wreck soon wreck in the spelling w r e c k it's going to wreck soon and so this ariel carefully separates ferdinand to one part of the island and separates the other people to other part of the island later he comes here and gives the description how he did the work of the thing so let's see the pic you saw already saw the picture of uh, this is the ariel coming and giving the lively description of how he did all the work in the sea and when ariel comes there for uh, only prospero can see him as soon as ariel comes he takes his magic wand puts for miranda into sleep and he listens to all whatever ariel is speaking prospero is really happy to hear how his enemies that is king of naples antonio and the others were really tortured because a kind of a revenge he is taking there and on the other hand ferdinand was separated carefully by ariel he really appreciates ariel at this moment and he asks ariel to somehow bring ferdinand to their place and that's how ferdinand is coming here and ferdinand when he comes here before coming here he just hears some voice asking him gentleman come to the place where you can see lady miranda who will be very beautiful like that he'll be giving introduction and he'll be thinking he's like standing in a dreamland and he comes to that place when he comes to that place he first sees miranda who's a very beautiful lady and miranda have never seen any other human being except her father prospero and prospero said introduces uh ferdinand as the king of naples prince of naples and Ferd uh, miranda was really astonished to see a, such a handsome person before her so soon they will understand each other and later what is happening is prospero tries to put him in test because to see how much ferdinand is constant in love with miranda he wants ferdinand to marry miranda but he doesn't show outside on the other part what he is doing is next he is giving he is going to call him he is an usurper who comes to uh, who has come to spy the island he has come to attack them indirectly so he uh, accuses him in that sense and ferdinand really uh, stands against these accusation but still he has become like a what to say is he has become like a prisoner and he has to do all the task whatever prospero is giving so prospero started giving all difficult difficult work to ferdinand but ferdinand tries to do all the work to show that he is a honest and honest and good person he has not he is not a spy and he has not come to attack them like that it's go, the story goes on on the other part of the island king of naples antonio and the others will be crying and mourning for the death of ferdinand actually they are thinking that ferdinand has dead and gone because they jump into the sea and they have never seen and they all think that the ship has been wrecked actually the ship is not wrecked and 
broken it's safe near the harbor but it's not clearly visible to anyone's eyes because it was the work of ariel ariel has put it in the magic vanish then what is happening is after this ferdinand tries to do all the work and uh, when ferdinand tries to do all the work miranda feels sad about him miranda feels sad about him and she asks him whether can she help him in all the work but uh, ferdinand say no no it's my work and i have to do the work i will do it and i will complete it and then i will take the rest like that he will be saying that shows how much he is true and honest and how much he is constant in the love of in between in the in the meanwhile they started loving each other also and finally in i am uh, uh, finally on the other part of the island you can see the other people they are staying there and ariel goes there ariel goes there understanding they are starving out of out without food and they are very tired what he prepares is in a click of in a snap of fingers he prepare a table of banquet where delicious foods were served and they all think that they are going to eat that food and they'll come running with the hunger but suddenly it will be vanishing it like that ariel keeps on giving them small small tormenting situations and finally they will also be taken through another way to the place of prospero and prospero comes in uh, reveals all the revenge he shows uh, ferdinand and miranda and finally they will understand king of naples and antonio understands how much they have given difficulty and how much they have cheated prospero they finally ask pardon to prospero and finally they both are happily married ferdinand and uh, miranda is married miranda was accepted by king of naples as his daughter in law and she becomes the queen and he becomes the king because now he is prince next uh, after the marriage he becomes a king and she becomes the queen of naples and finally the story ends in a happy manner ariel has been completely given full freedom is not been in, under anyone to serve anyone because prospero leaves the island with all his people he will also visit his friend gonzalo in the last part of the story and finally he thank him because because of gonzalo's timely help before 12 years he and his daughter is alive today so that's what is a nice story hope you all you all would have enjoyed the story thank you